EcoStress is a, um, it's a mission that's going to the International Space Station and it focuses on how much water plants use all over the planet and how uh, much water plants need and if there's stress, water stress or heat stress that plants are facing. There's a lot of really important science for EcoStress. Um, so we're interested in uh, really understanding and nailing down water use um, differences across the planet, uh, both in our natural ecosystems and in our managed eco ecosystems. So scientifically, this will be a significant advance in our ability to do that. From the geeky biologist in me, I'm interested in how plants kind of behave over the course of the day. Um, this is a very geeky biology type question, but it's, it's really interesting and we've just been unable to do that globally uh, with any existing uh, satellite capabilities. So the geeky biologist in me is really interested in picking up how plants behave over the course of the day. Because NASA has an open data policy, really anyone can use the data. And it's my hope that, that many agricultural users will make use of the data to inform their water resource allocations. And there are also areas that are drought stricken throughout the globe. It's becoming a common occurrence. And if cities worldwide can decide how best to allocate their limited resources, then that'll be a really valuable tool in managing the drought crisis. EcoStress has three main goals. Firstly, we'd like to understand how plants respond to changing water availability. Secondly, we'd like to understand how changes in evapotranspiration throughout the day affect vegetation growth. And finally, we'd like to show how we can use ET measurements to optimize agricultural water use. One of the key areas for NASA is understanding how the uh, planet works. And if you want to understand how uh, the Earth works, you need to understand what's going on with vegetation. It's a you know, critical part of the Earth system. And so uh, you know, NASA has been investing in spaceborne instruments that look at vegetation and look at the, the, the Earth to try and understand the different processes that take place. What the instrument does is it actually measures the temperature of the surface of the Earth. It measures it obviously from a long way away, but even though we measure from a long way away, we can measure very accurately. We can measure the surface of the temperature of the Earth to in a, within a few tenths of a degree. And then we can use that information to look at objects on the surface of the Earth. And in this particular case, we're interested in looking at plants and seeing how those changes in temperature reflect the changes in the processes that are taking place in the plants.